Hi everyone, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today's topic, I saw this on Facebook maybe seven to 10 days ago. So by the time I post this, it's gonna be maybe a month ago, you know. And if you follow my channel, you know that I am pro Passport Bros. I have no issue with um, interracial relationships, be it a black woman with a non-black man or a black man with a non-black woman. Now, obviously, I like I, I am pro black family, most definitely pro black nuclear family. You know, but, you know, sometimes that, that's just not how life happens sometimes. So if this topic triggers you, just know I'm not going back and forth with you. If you want to hurl insults, call names, you're going on block. And that's all she wrote. I'm not, I'm not doing it. So if you don't understand that this is, uh, I'm a content creator I talk about things that interest me because I figure it might interest others. So that's what I'm doing. I could care less about this couple. I'm just talking about it because it's in the vein of the topics on my channel and I just want to discuss it. So Toby Maguire, who played Spider-Man, which let me go off on a quick tangent. Spider-Man is like my all-time favorite superhero, believe it or not. And I hate spiders with a passion. But when I found out that he was playing Peter Parker, I was so irritated because I was like, no, he is not Peter Parker. But he ended up doing a good job. And his rendition, or however you want to call it, of Spider-Man is among my favorite. Because it was one from the 70s, which was trash, you know, but... I am a Spider-Man fan, but his ex-wife is engaged, allegedly, to be married to a Nigerian billionaire's son by the name of, sorry if I butcher his name, Jeffrey Ogunlesi. Ogunlesi. And when I first saw the article, and I plan to leave it in my description box, when I found out that she was a divorced 47-year-old with two children, married to a billionaire, at the back of my mind, I thought, hmm, that's odd. 47-year-old divorcee, two children, hmm. Then when I saw who she was marrying, I was like, oh, it makes sense. So you might be like, Shimmer Girl, well, why does it make sense? Well, because, not saying it doesn't happen, but I don't see a billionaire, a white billionaire, marrying a 47-year-old divorcee with two children. I kind of don't see that. Not saying it doesn't happen, but when I saw that he was a black man, I didn't know he was Nigerian at first. I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. So with that said... This is what comes into play about what a lot of people say in regards to black women not really wanting to compete. This woman, Jennifer Meyer, if I did not say her name before, she played the game. She's playing the game. She got herself in the room where a billionaire was. I don't know how they met. I did read, a, read the article, but I don't remember how they met now, but Obviously, she was in the room with him to be able to meet him. And she put on her charms and she snagged him. So she'll probably be in it if they do make it down the aisle, five years, tops maybe. And then she's going to walk away with some um, a pretty penny. And one of, the th one of the things that Dr. Umar likes to say is how Black people even um, are so willing to let a lot of large chunk of their fortunes go to a non-white spouse, a non-black spouse, sorry. And typically, again, I don't care who marries who, but in a case like this, I think that she, Jennifer Meyer, that is, 
she she used some witchcraft and I'm being facetious but she used her feminine wiles she's fit she's probably friendly and she's probably cooperative and that's how she got this guy now for me I kind of have I'm just I'm being honest right now I just kind of have an issue with women who walk away from their marriages, they break up their homes, and it's almost like she's being rewarded by getting this billionaire. I don't know, that's just irking me deep within my soul. I'm just being honest. So that was my little topic for today. Um, you can chime in below if you want or not, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.